who played guitar has used this technique from time to time. Imagine holding the guitar in a normal position, but in, instead of using your right hand, take it away. Just imagine using your left hand, okay? Um, anyone who's done trills or uh, what they call hammer-ons or pull-offs, that's the basis of the technique. In, instead of plucking or strumming the string, you tap it against the neck. And when it hits the neck, the impact makes it vibrate. And so what a lot of guitarists can do is just sort of go around with their left hand and just play tones and even chords. So what I'm doing is just that I'm doing that same thing with both hands. So I've got both hands on the neck and each one is independent. And as long as, as, long as they don't both go for the same string, I can you know, run them both totally independently. trained at Princeton University, and although some critics call him the fair-haired boy of the jazz circuit, Jordan feels he's paid his musical dues. Well, every day I have to take a deep breath and, you know, um, keep my sanity, but it is true that I've been working for this for a long time, and, and so for me, it's, it's been 20 years in the making, whereas for someone else who's just heard me, I guess it may seem like this guy suddenly jumped on the scene, you know. But I've been preparing not just for playing the music, but also um, learning about the music scene so that hopefully I could get out there and not get swept off my feet by it. ...his musical direction midstream. I started out as a pianist. From age six, I studied classical piano. And so I already had some background in technique and reading and some basics in harmony. And I took up guitar when I was 11 because I fell in love with the rock scene, and Jimi Hendrix, and Sly and the Family Stone, and just all kinds of stuff was going on, the Beatles. And I decided to take up guitar because it just seemed so exciting. And after playing guitar for several years and also getting an interest in jazz, I started to realize that the instrument didn't have the music in it that I, that I wanted, or I couldn't get the music out of it that I imagined in my mind. And so I just sat down and went about it very analytically and scientifically and said, well, how can I go about getting these sounds out of the guitar? What I wanted to be able to do was to play the way a pianist plays, independent lines, counterpoint. They have three or four different melodies going on at the same time, um, independent yet unified and you know harmonious. And so I just spent a lot of time um, reading piano technique books and experimenting and I finally arrived at what I'm doing now and, and as far as I can tell it's it's the best way. Nightlight returns with Spyro Gyra and Pat Metheny.